Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add significant letters to a bar chart. First step, I'm going to import data and define variables. This is the data I'm going to use today. Uh, the data is the effect of genotype on wheat yield. Uh, there are three different genotypes, A, B, and C, and the experiment was conducted in four replicates. And now I defined the variables. Uh, next step, I'm going to plot a basic bar chart. The packages we need for this plotting are ggplot2 and ggbuff. I use ggbar plot to uh, plot the bar chart. In my previous tutorial, uh, I show how to plot a bar plot using a ggbar plot. Uh, if you want to understand more about this, you can find it in my channel. Uh, now I run this code. Uh, this is a bar plot showing the variation uh, in yield between uh, three different wheat genotypes. As you can see, maybe there is significant difference between the genotype B and genotype A and C. When there are the significant differences between the wheat genotype, how we can add the significant letters uh, to the bar plot? I'm going to show you now. Uh, we need uh, three packages including mount.com, mount.com view and uh, deploy. So I'm going to run them. Now we need to get the significant letters or compact letter display from two key analysis. We need to run one way ANOVA. The results show that there are significant different between uh, genotypes. And now I run the two key analysis. And we also can see uh, the significant difference between the genotype B and C and B and A. Our next step, I will generate the significant letters. As you can see here, the significant letter is ordered from the largest value uh, to the smallest one. Now I convert uh, this list into a data frame. So as a data frame, the genotype in the third column here, and then the letters, so the uh, significant uh, letters. After that, we need to link the means with the significant letters. Uh, first, we need to group by uh, genotype, and then we calculate the mean and the standard deviation using uh, summarize. And then we need to arrange the value of mean from the largest value to the smallest one. After that, we need to add a new column to show the significant letters. So the significant letters in the CLD are with the letters here. I run this code now. As you can see in this data, there are general type mean, standard deviation, and significant letters. Uh, now we can ready to add the significant letters uh, to the figure we have already drawn before. We need to use geom text, and the data is the data sum uh, we have just created here. And aesthetic, the X is the general type, Y is the mean plus standard deviation, and label is significant. I'll run this code now. As you can see, now the significant letters are added into the bar plot. However, we need to adjust the location of the significant letters. We just simply increase the Y value. Uh, for example, I add one here. And we run it again. Now they look very good. Uh, that's what I want to show you today. If the tutorial is useful for you, uh, please subscribe for the channel. Thank you for the watching.